my relationship with my peers is sort of is affected by this work mostly because they get to have a view into what's going on with queer youth and with queer with advancements in queer rights, um, just kind of in general. I'm more involved than most of my friends are, so they you know they like to know what's going on, and I always have little tidbits of information about which laws are passing, which states are okaying marriage equality, stuff like that. Um, and for the most part, they're really proud of me. Uh, they like to brag about the friend that they have who does LGBT rights stuff and like, oh, look at her. She's doing so many good things. And it's actually kind of nice when I meet people and they're like, oh yeah, I heard about you. You're doing this cool stuff. So that's really cool. I'm a senior at UCSC um, and I'm working to graduate in just a couple of months. So I haven't had a lot of time to work with um, the Cantu Center on campus. But I have done a lot of work with the Diversity Center, planning queer camp. Um, I've done that for a couple of years, and I was one of the like youth, um, part of the youth planning committee for a couple of years before that. And I have to say, you know, the Diversity Center is such an amazing resource, and the fact that they're willing to put so much effort and so much time into planning queer camp, which is just the most amazing thing. I have witnessed so much blossoming into personal power at that camp and just being in charge of that and the f knowing that I was the person who could make that happen, who could put everything together so these youth can have this beautiful, safe, open space is so rewarding. And I just, I want to make sure that the Diversity Center can keep doing that and can keep, you know, pushing to give this safe space for young people who don't necessarily have that in their day-to-day -day lives. My queer friendly identity, I think, was shaped from the time I was born. I didn't necessarily have a lot of queer people in my life when I was really, really young. Um, I think I had an aunt who was with a woman when I was very, very little, but I was too little to really understand what it was. Um, but I was just raised in a very, very open and welcoming and loving community. And so the idea that a woman might love a woman or a man might love a man or a man might appear to be a man but inside know that he's really she's really supposed to be a woman that's that wasn't a strange concept so I was kind of raised into that my whole life it wasn't like any anything revelatory um I personally discovered my queer identity when I was about 12 um I had a best friend who I knew was bi and I got a huge crush on her and she was really accepting of that and it was she was really open to it and so I it was encouraging and I could kind of branch out into that and um, it kind of blossomed from there um, and so yeah from the age of about 12 and I was really lucky to have an environment that accepted that and so I was able to explore it and kind of see what was out there and figure out who I was within the community. I have lots of favorite movies but I think my absolute favorite has to be The Breakfast Club. Um, it's a great movie, great actors but I mean, I think it's really beautiful because it's these different people from different backgrounds and different personalities and different physical appearances. And it's sort of cheesy, but it's really sweet because, you know, they initially argue, as you would expect, um, and then they just come together and they realize that they share something really deep down that allows them to connect with each other and form these beautiful relationships. And so, you know, they start out fighting and then they develop into these great friendships that hopefully will continue. And so... I really like what that signifies. The different kinds of people can come together and create something beautiful. My favorite color probably has to be like a really nice royal blue because um, it's a really peaceful color, you know? You look at different colors, maybe red or orange or something, and they feel really like bright and kind of aggressive, like, oh, look at me, I'm a bright color. But dark blue is just so calm and it's so relaxing and I look at it and I just kind of feel like I'm being hugged by the color. 